Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Zach Lohan and welcome to Night in the Woods. So, I think this is the end. I don't know. Oh shit, I hit the mic. I don't know, but I think. Okay, so, uh, I didn't read this in the last episode, so I might as well read it. Uh, I haven't been on a night hike in a long time. Gotta listen for owls. Why? Owls are cool. Alright. I got work in the morning. Let's go catch us a ghost. Thought Angus is psychic. Thought Angus is psychic. But his hat blocks it. <laughs> no clues, but Angus saw him too. Oh, shit. Wrong one. Okay, let's go. This reminds me of, uh, I'm gonna be honest, this reminds me of IT, because group of friends trying to take down this ghost, or whatever the fuck it is. How have I never been up, uh, never been back up here? Fences work. Nah, people are up here all the time. I came here when I was like 12. What's up here? Eh, just old junk and trees and animals. Hmm. What is it, babe? Nothing. Nothing? I was praying. Wow! Really? Yeah, let's go. I mean, I don't blame her, because to be honest, they could never come back. Oh god. This could be the end of the game, guys. This could be the end of the game. Wow. Gotta put all this stuff somewhere, I guess. You remember this from when you were 12, Greg? Yeah, I was scared of it. How'd they even get all of us this back up in here? What? How'd they even get all of this back oh how did they even get all of this back up in here <sighs> what's up nothing just like all this old old stuff out there uh, here it's here every night when you go to sleep so it's out here in the dark so old so old, so old, so old, so old. I like your little nod. <laughs> so old, so old, so old, so old, so old. Dude, hey, May. I'm fine. Oh, she was freaking out. We should go back. This is stupid. No, it's fine. Ghost hunt. Woo. Fun. I don't know, May. Oh, you seeing the change of color. <gasps> Wait! <gasps> this could be her dream! <gasps> Where she finds that well! <gasps> what the? <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> no! Uh, no! He's awake already. Anyone got any juice? No, no, guys. Oh, uh, hell. Guys, guys, wait. Love, you knew this was gonna happen. You knew it the moment you screwed this whole thing up. It ain't like you weren't on the other side of this before. It was a mistake. I owned up to it. Lerv, this is you owning up to you. 
I allowed to make one mistake? One mistake? You let a goddamn arm in front of the click clack. Because of you, God knows what's gonna happen to this town. What, what was I supposed to do? It was your screw up. This leg stuck. It wasn't like you couldn't uh, called any of us. Couldn't a called any of what? I didn't get that. I panicked, okay? I was embarrassed. I sure wished you'd called me, Lerv. You think any of us want to do this? Guys, we can figure something out. Nothing to figure out. But, but, but I got a family. Lerv, don't insult us. You know you don't gotta worry about Jenny and the girls. They will be completely taken care of. They'll never want for nothing. He's not gonna budge with that leg sticking straight up. Yeah, hell. Dave, Rick, Betty, guys, you know me. All right, Dave, you hold. I'm... I'm sorry, Lerf. You know we got no choice. And I'd appreciate it if you stopped laying a guilt trip on us. No, 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 no! Hold him still. No! Ah! Hold still. This will go easier. Ah! Alright. Alright, he's free. They cut his leg off, didn't they? Lerv. <laughs> Lerv. Ain't no one can hear you this far out. You're just putting yourself to more English and... Ah! Oh, hell. Let's get this over with. We should just make this easy. God, his bones sticking out. <gasps> the hell? Shit! May? May Boeski? Run! Wait, they knew my name? Huh. Oh god! Oh shit! Huh! Oh god, he's getting close! Huh! Dude, he's getting epically close! Huh! Oh! What just happened? Part 4, the end of everything. What the fuck? Nice. Nice. Oop. I barely remember how to play this. It's like riding a bike. I put this game in my head when I'm falling asleep. Hmm. I like go over the plots of books I've read. Oh, look at that smarty. I don't remember every place I've ever been. In order. Wow. What happened to me? Alright, well. <gasps> I'm Bay? I don't see anyone out there. Just wait. He'll be back. So we still have no idea who this is. Yeah, big guy. Dirty coat. Or several. They could swap out. I can't tell. Hmm. Okay, so. Got brownies. Got sodas. Want some brownies? Making brownies. And... Yeah. 
Um, maybe lasagna? Lasagna? I found one in the freezer. Why all the food? Need to eat. Everyone needs to eat. Aren't you like scared and worried? Good dinner makes everyone feel better. Someone's got to take care of you. Thanks, I guess. You're extremely good. Oh, no more than anyone else. Why am I playing as Bay? So, no word from her parents? Nope. That's bad, right? Yep. Yep. Thanks, guys. Is May in here? Where is she? I'm so tired. I could like curl up in their bed. There's like a whole living area under there. I can talk to you. I played this until I broke one of the sticks. That's harsh. No, no harsh. I don't screw around. It was stressful time seeing you here. I remember. Sorry about your mom. Thanks. Guys, this is a bad situation. Yep. Yep. Yes, some. Wait, everybody shut up. I heard it too. Seriously, what? There's someone standing outside the door. Yeah, I, I hear it through the headset. What? Everyone be very quiet. Mute the TV! Oh my god. It went black. Whoa, what is going on? May! May! Is she okay? Oh shit. Dude, shit just got real! God, is she okay? She's trying to get back into town. May. Those cult guys ain't gonna come looking for us now, are they? during the day God She didn't get shot did she? Cuz that was a gunfire that we heard What happened? <gasps> no. <gasps> no. I think she died. Wait, is she dead or is she asleep? Sorry, it's going slow there, guys. I'm sorry. God is here. In this room. I believe that. Times like this we can call out. And know that... Our cries are heard. Uh, 
Well, we're here and maybe someone would like to say something about May. That'd be nice. I'll say something. May Bereski's always been a menace. And I called the police on her more than once. I hope she wakes up and learns a lesson. And that's all I got to say. Uh, okay. I'm sorry, if I was a parent, I would have been, like, pissed. Thank you, William. I'll speak up. Go ahead. May was a daughter to all of us on the block. Speak for yourself. <laughs> you fucking asshole, man. Sometimes folks in the wrong place at the wrong time. I hope we find out what exactly happened to her. Oh, we know her friends told us. Yeah. They were out in the woods at night. And on the end of Crita Ave, someone was out there hunting illegally. And they got shot at. They fell in. She must have fallen off a million things a million times. And all it takes is a landing the wrong way. One time and... Oh. Well, I hope she wakes up soon and tells us all about it. See if she remembers. Done it. I'm sure she's... Oh. I'm sorry. I mean to interrupt. What's happened to this woman? Do we know you? Are you here to clean up? Nah, I'm supposed to be fixing it, though. <gasps> Is he the? In here? Nope. Okay, so. She's gonna be fine. For today. At least ways. What? What? Who are you? Janitor. The house is gone. May! Oh, thank God. What did you say, May? It's dead. What's dead, honey? May, honey! Everything. It's weird, because when the janitor popped up, that's when everything changed. Is it... Is it possible that the janitor's the cloaked guy? Wait, I'm... I'm so lost. Hey, she looked like me. <laughs> What's going on? How'd she get home? It didn't even allow me to go. Oh my god. Bay. Oh my god. Bay. Let me see, guys. We're gonna do a take two. Um, I'm gonna try to keep that thing away from my face as possible. So, quick summary of what the fuck just happened. Um, left for a bit, thought I heard something. I thought my niece was awake or some shit. Uh, she wasn't. Then I came back. When I came back, I forgot to turn back on my mic. Now, when that happened, um, <laughs> yeah, this, this is going to go on for about like 10 minutes or so. So this is future Cyclone. You guys will be back with uh, what's the name Cyclone in just a sec. So let's, uh, let's just, I guess, jump on into this. Holy shit. It's me. It's me. You came back to life? I don't think she was dead. Pizza party! Yeah! Uh, I'm feeling woozy. You should lay down. You sleep in our bed? I feel weird about that. How about the couch? Let's stop playing. 
Nah, the sound is good. Her mom said it's okay to keep her here. I'll drive her home later. So she just like wandered out of her house? Yeah, and all the way here. Jeez. Lucky she didn't pass out somewhere out there. I sure hope she's all right. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Both of you. Shh. So, how well do you know this guy? You want a pizza, what, twice a week, bruh? You know what I mean? Uh, at least. From out by the highway, now that since possibilities closed down, I thought you two were trying to save money. What? Don't police our lifestyle, bae. Okay, well, just as long as we're sure the delivery guy is safe. You know? Uh, I can spot him through the keyhole. It's not him. We'll turn the lights off and, I, I guess, hide here until, you know, we die. Alright, well, as long as there's a plan. Hello? Look who's awake. It's him, it's the pizza guy. Pizza's here! Yeah! Man, I hate his voice. I hate doing Greg's voice. Grab a pizza, everybody. Grab one! Get it! Yeah! So, what happened? We called the cops. Your aunt and some guy fished you out of the woods. You know, eh. You were like in a coma, you know. Did you die? Uh, just took a long, very long nap. Uh, nice. Uh, yeah, nice. Got another one. Come on, get it. Get it, you flock it. There you go. Uh, uh, I had this dream, or like a vision, or... It's time travel. I don't know. I'm like in and out of consciousness. Uh, can you not eat? You should eat. I don't know if I can. Uh, sorry, Mom. You scared us to death, honey. Sorry, Mom. Uh, we'll come pick you up. No, it's cool. I'm gonna sleep here. Pay. Pay is there? Bay is here. Okay. Be back in the morning. Have Bay drive you home. I will. May. I know. Give us a call if you need to come home. I will. Love you, Mom. Love you, sweetie. Uh, you want a brownie? Nah, I can't really eat right now. Uh, like, I'd puke, but there isn't anything in there. Uh, so, I'd like, you know, pick my actual guts out. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, you need your guts. For the moment, at least. Uh, God. Give me a sec, let me get this damn charger. Got it. Getting the charger on this thing for it, guys. Dude, wild week, huh? Uh, you could say that. We get out of this? I don't know if we're getting out of this. <laughs> well, even if we don't, and we're ghosts, we should hang out more, bruh. Deal. <laughs> uh, what even was that game? Werewolf Shred thing, Gnar? Gnar 3, you know? Pretty cool game. It's, I like it. Well, I played this at Casey's house, like, years ago. I played it yesterday at home. Cool. 
Yeah. Okay, well, fuck you, Jam. No one likes you. <clears throat> oh, shit, excuse me. Man, I hate this voiceover shit. I get so bored. <laughs> okay. Talk to Bay. Uh, they've got Wi Fi. Nice. It's like we're a real place, you know? I don't, don't know what that. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with my goddamn dialogue. At least within range. I don't even have a phone because of this place. <laughs> it's the 800, 1800s here. Hey, May. Yeah? I'm really glad you're not dead. Me too. Yeah. 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 We all hit the sack. Gonna like, you know, wander around the apartment. Nah, hit the sack. Hit hit the fucking sack. Cool. I'll be right out. So just to let y'all know, uh the audio isn't like off at all. It's just I'm I'm having to reread this shit, so I'm either slow or too fast. I'm sorry. Hey kids, can we do lights out now? I'm gonna drop over. Yeah, dude. Sounds good. See you all tomorrow. You sure it's safe for you to leave? I'm just got anything to do with me. No weirdos are following me around. Oh, right. See ya. Bye, Jim. Little shit. Okay. Oh, God, this one's hard. <sighs> okay. Do you know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago? Uh, no. We weren't talking then, and I thought it'd be weird to bring it up now, and I was playing this video game. You're like dating ghost or something. I guess Undertale, I guess that's what I was playing. Okay. And I was really into it. Played it like, you know, 24-7 until this one afternoon. Something like something broke. Broke? It was just like pixels. The characters on screen felt like I knew them. <sighs> they weren't people anymore. They were just shapes. And their lines were just things someone had written. They never existed. They never had feelings. They never would have exist either. And it felt so sad. Like it just lost these real people. And this whole thing we had, it was just me alone like that realization like dumped out of the screen and into real life went outside and the tree up front i looked at it every day it was like a friend outside the window now it was just a thing just a thing that was there growing and eating just being there. Like all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head. And there was some guy walking by. And he was just shapes. It's like this moving bulk of stuff. And I cried because nothing was there for me anymore. It was all just stuff. Stuff in the universe. Just dead. Wow, that's... Huh. The next day was that softball game. And Andy was the pitcher when I was up. And he was just shapes too. Just lines someone wrote. Like nothing in there. And I was so scared and angry. And I just... I don't know. Before I knew it, I was on top of him. Smashing his face in with the bat. Just shapes. Red shapes all over the grass. Oh my god, May. Have you talked to anyone about this? Like at all? After it happened, they made me go to therapy. With Dr. Hank. Oh god, he's the worst. And he made me start a journal. A journal? Yeah, he kind of just said it would help to or be able to get me through my thoughts down, you know. Did it help? Kinda, sorta. I said that line wrong. But since this whole thing happened when I'm alone in a new place, it just 
all shapes, like back at the softball game. I was doing fine at college for a while, but I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside or around people alone. And there was this statue of like the founder of something, a really shitty statue, like all rusty and metal. And it was these shapes. He was pointing down at me. And I was so scared. I didn't leave my dorm room. I either didn't eat or I ate entire pizzas at once. I downed cough syrup just to sleep all the time. And finally, I got up the courage to leave. I came home where everything was fine. Where I knew everyone. And it wasn't just dead shapes. Watching me. Jeez. Something broke in my head, in my life. I don't mean to be like, whatever, but it sounds like you're suffering from some serious stuff. And like, I can help you find some help for it. Dr. Hank already tried. I think Dr. Hank should stick to family medicine and dentistry and the half dozen other things he does. And maybe leave the mental health service to someone else. Like, there are such things as depression and anxiety and like, I don't know what you're going through, it exists. I, I thought when I came home, I just, I felt so safe here and everything made sense for a few days. And then all of this and, 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 shh, it's gonna be okay. We'll figure this out. I'm so scared. I know we're all scared, but we're gonna make it. We should get some sleep. I. God. Hi right, guys. Love you. Oh, shit. <laughs> I hit the mic. Oh, okay. Well, um, that's the end for me. Uh, in this little footage, it should be heading back to the past cyclone. Um, so, yeah. I'm gonna have to redo that. Okay. So, I don't know what the fuck she's doing. I don't know why she's going. May, what are you? Are you actually a ghost? Or just some guy? What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? What is, why is this happening to me? Talk! Fine. Let's do this. <gasps> Boom! Get away from her, you piece of shit. You're outnumbered, asshole. Oh, you shot me! And we can all use both of our arms. I will personally dis disassemble you. Well, jeez, Bay. Uh, oh. You okay? What are you're such an idiot? What were you thinking coming out here alone? This is all because of me. I'm sorry, are you the one putting on a dumb costume and following me around? And kidnapping people, maybe? Is that your fault now? He... It, it's in my dreams. Hey, kiddo. We're out here. Outside your head. 
whatever's going on in there, I believe you. But I'm not gonna let you wander off into the woods to die. Okay. We're all in this now. And even if we're and even if we weren't, I'd still be out here with you. Me too, obviously. Clearly, clearly, we all would be. <laughs> Listen, I'm all the family my dad has left. I for damn sure am not dying out here. And you're God. You're the closest thing I have to a sister. I don't want you to be gone. So you're not dying either. <coughs> That sounds okay. <laughs> By me. Well, he's wounded. Sound like he went back up to the mine. Yeah, what do we do? Follow him, I guess. No, I have to go alone. Y'all wait here, I'll go. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, anyway. If he's up there in the mine, we might be able to go to him and tie him up or something. Can you walk me? I, I think so. Might be a little slow. I'll help you if you need it. Thanks, big guy. All right, let's go do something really stupid. Ooh. Gates open. Oh, jeez. What? Could like pocket, sh pocket shot or something? Oh dang! You're right. No. I have to go down in there. Well then, looks like all of us. Looks like all of his friends are gone. Just one guy. Just one guy. Just one something. Bang bang! <laughs> oh man. I'm sorry that the mic cut out off that serious part where May was uh, saying what was going on with her. Because, dude, it was, it was legit. I would not mind reading that again. Oh, this isn't dangerous or anything. Uh -huh. Nothing to be scared of down there, just the party. <laughs> Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. My god, the slow walking. Oh, there's a lever, hello. Pull the lever, class. I can we actually? I don't think we can. I don't know. I hear breathing. Looks like he took the elevator down. So much for the element of surprise. He's gonna hear us coming a mile away. You sure we want to do this? Yeah, mate, you sure? Guys, I don't know if you understand. <laughs> He's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying or dead already. I, I don't know what's gonna happen down there. Okay then. We'll come out of this together. <laughs> that thing looks old. They haven't used this mine in like a lot of years. Generations even. Are you on tour guide now? <laughs> God damn it. Uh, we have Possum Springs tourism pamphlets at the shop. And I get bored. This isn't the brochure. <laughs> oh man. 
Well, we're here. We well, here we are. <coughs> hey, you okay? I have my inhaler. No, I'm fine. It's just like it's like something huge is on top of me. I mean, technically, you're not wrong. Is it like asthma? That's how asthma is. It's not asthma, big guy. But thanks. I hear something. My phone went off. Hold on, bro. Let me check this out. Some stupid shit. Okay. Down there. You wanna be okay, May? Yeah, I'm alright. We should be quiet. Yeah, gotta save up for the screaming later. <laughs> oh god, it is horrible with a headset on. It's... I don't know if you guys could see it, but it's blinking and shining like when it did when she was in her dreams. Door. Door. Tunnel. Yeah, whatever. Here we go. Oh yeah, they do stop. Okay, I thought they were just going in like by themselves. Oh god, it's getting to me now. Yeah, jeez. What is this place? Looks like a church or something. And like junk. Oh god. Oh god. What is it? It's here. It's here. Oh god. What is it, bruh? I don't know, but it's here. It's through there. It looks... Was your grandpa involved in this? Because they knew her name so well. I think her grandpa was probably involved in this. Oh god, the only thing... I was going to say the only thing you can see is her little... Yeah, it's the only thing you can see. Her little freaking lollipop right there. I know you're in here. Say something. Well, how about this? Take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Show yourself. Yeah, asshole. We're like five times scarier than you. Oh. Fucking hell. Oh. That's what they meant. There they are. They're right there. I'm gonna kill them. Edie, you'll do no such thing. It's out of our out of your hands. He shot me! Then I'd say we're even. Little girl got shot at the other night. Yeah, sorry about that. You're apologizing? That yeah, was a bad call. I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay? They didn't actually hit me, so... Wait, what the... Who are you? Bunch of old boys doing their damnedest to protect their own and their neighbors. Why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? Nobody's gonna kill you. All of you are part of this town. By families, by family relation, or just by being hard workers. Contributors! I'm okay. So, we could just leave. Well, he brought you down here for a reason. And he's not gonna let you leave until he's had his way. Well, he's already got an arrow through the shoulder. I don't think he's gonna be having much say in whatever. Wait, so you think that... He, he, he kidnapped that kid at Harvest! He's been in my head somehow. I'm always tired, constant headaches. 
He's been following me, following all of us. He... Oh, little girl. <laughs> you don't know what this is, do you? What? Oh, God. I've seen this. I felt it. Was Ed Scudder and Jim Doney who found it? Twenty years back or so, after the West Mine closed out past Brittle, Bess Schumer, last supervisor, was out there when the company locked off the entrance, carved his initials, and dated the door. Then you got this mine, the old one. Not even a proper mine, big hole, copper. Abandon. Shoot, long before any of us were born. Too close to whatever. And that water was poison. When the first settlers came out of here, that old spring used to be right above where we're standing. But that water dried up. 1992 or so, some men from West Mine came back up here to try bootlegging. Practically built up a new elevator got their main tunnel cleared. Correction, uh, to the young audience that don't know what bootlegging means, uh, liquor, beer, alcohol, that stuff. Don't support it. Never found no coal, just dug deeper and deeper till Ed bursts through that wall and finds this place. And Jim walks right into that hole and never hits bottom. Ed calls down to Jim. Jim doesn't answer, but someone else does. I know you heard that voice, girl, in dreams and in waking times. It's what, bat it's what brought you down here. <laughs> so what does this have to do with you or me or anyone? You gotta understand. In those days, it was the end of the world. Jobs gone, our kids were leaving. Governments didn't care, only wanted our votes. Just putting in more regulations, sending our jobs overseas, spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants, while we worked ourselves to death. Ah, uh, here we go. God damn it, I hate this crap. You old dipshits. You finished? Yeah, I'm sure. We prayed and prayed up at that church. But when Ed Scudder came back down here and listened, he got answers back. Answers? Ed explained it to a few folks. They didn't believe it. But he was persuasive. He had the glimmer. The glimmer. Once he takes a shining to, it rubs off on you. You can do things. I've never, I never seen it. But they did. But they said Ed could walk through walls. Okay. After Ed talked us into all of this, after that first time, after we picked one out, well, not only was the town holding stable. But it was almost like we were getting younger, and money came too. Still, few of us left from back then. First time, first one to the hole by our own hands. We owned up to what we do. I was there. I was too. You throw them in the hole? They're feeding him. He's hungry. Like you wouldn't believe. Every few months or so, he starts singing. And it's someone's turn to find someone. Was that what you were doing the other night? No. What happened that other night was a shame. What if our number broke the rules? And had to pay up. That was a hard thing to do. I think I'm gonna be sick. We never pick no one who's gonna be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, and delinquents. 
You've been... God, oh no. Cassie. The Hartley kid? All he was gonna contribute to society. Except a bunch of kids growing up with no dad. Was a rap sheet a mile long. For whatever said, and he'd wind up at. We did him a favor. You... You killed Cassie? Oh my god. We didn't use that word. You know, he was taking up business with his cousin, right? You know what happened to his cousin. Burned alive when his little trailer lab exploded. They had to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned him up. That's where Cassie was headed. You killed Cassie! And you want to act like we didn't do him and this whole town a favor? Cassie's been down here the whole time. His parents put up posters. Maybe they should have cared more about him before it came to this. Which one of you did it? Greg, he was my friend! All right now, throw it down. Right now, I will shoot. <laughs> What if I get you first? Bolt sticking right out your eye. Bang! Bang! Fuck guns down here? Danger this far out in the woods at night. Basic safety. I, I... Do it down, son. Don't make this our time. Greg. Dang it. monsters. None of this. None of this is happening. We are not monsters. We do it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this, Possum Spring survives. Things can get better. These mines are going to be humming again someday. Old mines puffing smoke. You kids don't understand that. We lost what our world was built around. Used to be, you provided for a family, bought a house. Now, you're stuck in shells at the grocery store. Kids leaving more than they're staying. No opportunity here. Old people dying, houses left empty. You ever seen that? A home become a tumble and pile of wood and plaster? A job become a burned out brick box or a hole in the ground. But we can change that. We can put this place back together. Where it won't be just... Shapes. I'm going to die down here. Why are you telling us all this? Because we're getting old. And even with the fringe benefit of good health, we need new blood to carry this on when we're gone. Really, you're like pitching us on this? <clears throat> were any of you even miters back in the day? Any of you hurting now financially? Like, Or is this just some big costume party for the club? For someone's shitty boss who's afraid of dying. That don't matter. <laughs> it does? This is real bad. This is insane. Why should we help you? Because if no one is here to do this, you remember that flood a few years back. You remember the blizzard of 2010? That's what happens. And beyond that, the jobs never come back. The kids never come back. Everything crumbles. Prossum Springs bleeds to death. And soon, we'll all be dead. This town will just be fields and trees. I've seen it. I know you have. 
I'll understand if you need some time to think it over. So we can leave. No one's gonna stop you. But understand that you don't know who we are out there. But we know who you all are. Ain't fair they get to leave and I probably got permanent damage. Shut it, Edie. You don't know a thing about what he wants. What he is. Edie, I swear to God. Let's go. Yeah, let's seriously get out of here. Son, you leave that crossbow. What? What? Why? Well, I could bullshit you. But the truth is, I just don't trust you. Fine, whatever. It's a piece of shit anyway. <laughs> I can't move. I can't move, you guys. I'll carry you. I have no idea what to even think about any of this. It's just horror. That's not a word you get to use too often. That's all I've got left. Like everything else, my head is gone. Let's get out of here fast. I don't know. I don't know if I... Shh. Talk later. Old stuff in here. I finished reading what she said. She's not doing well, though. May is not doing well. Okay. I'm glad to put you down for a sec, okay? Okay. So, Cassie. Yeah. I. Yeah. And for what? I think I get it. Wow. Really? Too tired to explain it right, but. Like. They lost what they thought was gonna happen. Which is what had happened long ago. But how they remember, or, like, picture it. And things. It gave them. And so Cassie and that kid at Harfest and... Sorry, I lost it. That's more sense than I could make of it. It's sad. It's all really sad. Ready to go again, Angus? Yep, sorry. Wait, everybody shut up. What? Shh, I thought I... Is that the game? Oh! What the fuck? Oh, kick his ass! He's fucking grabbing us! Ooh! Kick you! Get the fuck up! Holy shit! Is everyone okay? May, May, are you okay? May, say something. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> He's gone now. Shit, how are we gonna get out of here? Shh, give her a minute. Feel air coming in from somewhere. So, we're not gonna suffocate. Okay, well that's a relief. How do you... I was a scout, Greg. I was a scout. Hey, Angus? Yeah? I love you. Oh. Welcome back, May. You okay? Better now that I almost got murdered. <clears throat> Again. Which is weird. <coughs> huh, that was like the third time in two days. Third time's the charm. Guys, the air's coming from back here. Alright, I'm up. You sure? 
Yeah, I think I can walk at least. It's boarded up a long time ago. Can we get through? Let's find out. Let's get out of here. Oh, what the fuck do I do? What the fuck do I do? I just fucking grab it? Yeah. Good shit. Yeah, it's got some fresh air, alright. Oh, yep, that's some fresh air, alright. <laughs> and water. Dude, that's amazing! I can smell water. Hopefully, it's not a river. Some river are death traps. Oh, cave rivers are death traps. Mine river? We're in a mine! Right. I'm coming, guys. Don't worry about me. <laughs> hmm. I can see the bottom. I don't think we're gonna die in the one foot water. Right. Ooh! I know what you are now. I think I knew before. But... You know, after I sent that kid to the hospital, years ago, they said I had an anger problem. But that's not true. I was angry because of something else. Something I'd lost. Trying so hard since not to be angry. Got me all defenseless. And I lost more and more and more. That's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college, on the bus, I had this dream. Maybe I saw it out the window. Last leaf on the tree. Finally blown off. I'm so scared. All the time. And the fear hurts. Feeling like everything is over. It was over long before I got here. So long hiding. We're trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop. Until I die. But when I die, I want it to hurt. My friends leave. When I have to let go. When this entire town is wiped off the map. I want it to hurt. Bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off and everything ends. You know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again. And I want it to hurt. Because that means it meant something. It means I am something at least. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something at least. You know I can't understand you, right? Oh, shut up already. I know this won't save me at the end, but I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So if you're gonna kill me right here, then do it. If not... Hey! Dude, you okay? Oh. Got all sleepwalky there for a sec. Want me to carry you? No. I'm good. I'm just very, very tired. Hang here for a bit if you need to. We're safe. Uh huh. Hey, there's light over there. Do you smell that? I, I bet he did. She's normal. She's fine. So this is some like demon god shit or what? That fuck. What is this? 
Maybe a vent or something. Tip the miners from suffocating way back when. Looks old enough, at least. Who's sure? Oh, bro, sure. Hello? We're down here! Don't ask us why, please! We get lucky and someone's out here in the woods at night. I could try to make it out. No, I can like... Okay, yeah. Are you up for this? Yeah. I don't know. I'm like all hyper now. Like dolphins. Hyper like dolphins. No, like when your body is like a... Whoa, I almost died. And you get all hyper because you're filled with dolphins? Oh, I am seriously confused. Are you okay, May? Endorf Endorphins? Ah, uh, okay. There, thank you, those. Okay, okay, well, uh, write those dolphins up out of here. Uh, it's assuming I can even do this. We'll watch. Okay. See, I got this shit. Ha! 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 Oh, sorry there. Ha! No, no, god damn it! Ha! 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 God! Fu oh, okay, good. Ha! Ha! God damn it! Ha! Ha! Yay! Oh god. <gasps> it's the well! Nyah! Uh, huh. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was lagging. Was it wasn't lagging? That was just funny. This place, huh? Hi, Mike. Germ? Yeah. What are you doing out here? I live right up the hill. I heard Greg yelling. You're all stuck down there. You were at the bottom of the old well in the backyard. It's been a really bad night. Sounds like it. Got any rope or something? Yeah. Can you get it? Yeah. <laughs> hey, May. Yeah. Was that Jim? Yeah, he's getting some rope. What is he doing out here? He lives here? In the woods? My entire body hurts. That was a long way. I brought some sodas. You're the best germ. You need the sugar and caffeine. Oh, uh, anyone else want to get far away from this well? Yep. Germ, can you, like, uh, I don't know, sell up this well? Hmm. I got dynamite. I got dynamite. What? Well, I mean, I can get some. How big an explosion is that? I mean, not small. Okay, that works. Thanks, Jim. Yeah, thanks, buddy. I'm okay. Bye, guys. There goes a weird, weird guy. You see their lives? Jim is good. Jim is a good man. It strikes me that we just murdered all of those dudes down there. How do you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator's broken, and we caused a cave in. That was self defense! Yes, but we did cause the deaths of like a dozen guys. No, 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 no. They're all still alive down there. Wait. No, they're not. Oh, God. Yeah. Jeez. Well, we're blameless. They attacked us. 
one of them attacked us. So we're worrying about like it's morally gray. We're not murderers. Like if we'd had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. Yeah, I would have. Um, what? They like kill people. We're trying to get us to kill people. Screw them. I don't even believe in hell, and I hope they all go straight there. Jeez, Angus. Well, that's what I think, at least. Hmm. This is like the trolley thing. Trolley thing. What trolley thing? Okay, I'll explain it if we keep walking. Is that... That's not how it ends, is it? Hey guys. Uh, are you there? Anyone? Okay, I'm gonna type anyway. Uh, why do we need to say anything smart about what the hell even just happened? Easier for me to get it all out of here. And I need to talk. You know you jerks are off doing whatever. None of us asked for any of this. And it didn't happen to us because we're like special. You can work as hard as you want, but the universe is gonna keep doing what it does. And I don't think any of us deserved all of this. This is all stuff that started long before we were born. It's all like moving so fast and you're dropped into it. And you're just trying to grab onto something. And all of you all of you are what kept me from floating off tonight. Also, you kind of killed that guy to save me. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ever going to understand what all just happened. I hope it stops. I just feel right now like all I want to do is wrap my arms around all of you. Not just, not just because I love you, but to keep you all together with me. Wrap up into a ball and no one can hurt us. Sorry, I'm rambling. Germ, buddy. Germ, you don't even use Messenger. I guess I'm just typing at you whatever you're at, or wherever you're at. Hey, you're definitely something. I'm so sorry about all you've gone through. I don't even understand all of your problems. But if I could, I'd fix them. I fixed all of it, and I'd buy the tools to do it from your store, or like borrow them at least. A better friend would be would buy, but I'm what you got, <laughs> and I'm glad. Yep, there it is. Now I'm just gonna ease all of that, or erase all that. Oh shit, <laughs> guys! I was just uh, kidding about. A lot of that. Uh, I'm really tired. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, log off. Hey, log off. Wait, is that it? Achievement. Changing all of the seasons. Did we win the game? Wake your ass up. I'm confused. <laughs> I'm confused. Why? Oh, hello. So it's not done. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Hey, man. You okay this morning? I'm not opening the pickaxe today. Pick informs me we're doing bad practice, though. I'll see you there. Sorry. Hey, man. Nice message last night. I mean, like, really. You mess, dork. LOL. <laughs> Pan practice today. Uh, because I feel like we need to do something normal. At the snow come. Hope you're feeling okay. Silly Gregory. Oh, shit. My message. Uh, it's good to be alive this morning. That's all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <gasps> Epilogue. Stars. Oh, okay. So, yeah, this, this is the end. 
Holy shit. This not going to be long, guys. It's just... Oh, God. It's us. It's just us. Home and us. Oh, I don't know what this feeling is, but I'm not going to cry today. I'm going to cry today because I suck. Hey, May, honey, is that you? Yeah. I'm back in the kitchen if you want to talk. Yeah, Mama, what, what's up? What's up, Mom? Hey, sweetie. Hey, Mom, what up? How are you feeling? Ooh, excuse me. Good enough to jump up here. Oh, sorry. Can you do me a favor and stay home tonight? Sure, Mom. I... You're an adult. And you can do whatever you want. But you do live here. And you are still my baby. Aw, oh, Mom. We need to come up with some ground rules. Just because, honey, you could have died the other night. And then you just left to hang out with your friends? I... I... I'm so sorry, Mom. Sweetie, what's going on with you? I don't even know if I can tell you. Why? I don't understand, I promise. I don't even know how to talk about it yet, I don't think. What happened at school, hon? I don't care what it is, just please tell me. Are you working today? No, me. No, me and your father are both off today. We're around tonight. We can talk about it then. Sure. We can make breakfast for dinner like we used to. I can flip the pancakes in the air. <laughs> sure. Are you going out today? Yeah. Can you please stay in town close? Yeah, Mom. I think they're getting some of the longest night decorations out. Oh, wow. Pulling for some snow, too. That went fast. What did? The fall. Well, at least that's on. Okay. Well, I'm off. Love you, sweetie. Love you, too, Mom. Oh, shit's going good. <laughs> Wait, is it snowy? Is it actually snowy? That's badass. <laughs> I just realized this took a long ass time to fucking record and do and finish the game. Oh, Dad! Hey, Daddy! Not work to, no work today? I told Bob to shove it. Really? No. You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I hate my job. Oh, Dad, why? I've mined. I've made glass. I've done a heap of other stuff. But this place, they just don't respect you for working. They don't? Job's supposed to pay you enough to live. Job's supposed to like, let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have regular hours. Boss's supposed to respect you. Worker's supposed to be able to talk. This is my work, actually. <laughs> Like, everything he's naming is what my job sort of does, and that's why I don't really want to leave. Though the pay is sort of shitty, um... I respect my boss, and I respect all my coworkers there. So that's why I wouldn't really want to leave. So, I don't know. I'll suffer. <laughs> I'll suffer. Because yeah, they're all cool. Workers supposed to be able to have a life. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, never mind. Workers supposed to be able to live. Okay, never mind. He's never got the negative shit. Your mom always had to work, but I wanted to give you and her your time. I wanted her to have hobbies and enough time and money to do them. That's what made me happy. Now I just work so I can keep our health insurance. Hold on to the house. Try to at least. Is there anything you can do? I mean, we do need a union. Just easier to say it and get it done. Years are always there in mines and the factories, at least for a while. But here, I got something for you. I did it out of the basement. How'd you get in the basement? Door in the crawl space. That's spooky. So what? I got this. A tooth. A what? You not? Do you know what a tooth is? No, really. Sure. Yeah. Granddad must have had it from the old days. Me. Thank you. 
looks bright and new. He just pulled it out of school yesterday. You know, that to your boss? You show that to your boss and tell him to eat shit. May! Sorry! I'll just keep it with me. Sure thing. May? Yeah? You come down and pick it with us if we walk out. I'll be fired, Dad. Love you, kitten. Be back later, Dad. Ah, I love you, Daddy! <laughs> the tooth! Oh, hey, you! Hey, what are you doing here? Working, May. Why do you sound like what's his name? Sure! <sighs> what's wrong? Don't ask a lot of weird calls. What kind of calls? Questions. You haven't seen. Never mind. Go do whatever it is you do. Okay, fine, I will. May. Spit it out already! Be careful. Just be careful. Well, geez, until now, I never considered that. May. Okay, fine, thanks, bye. God, you're no. Well, actually, can I talk to you again? No, I can't. Fuck! Last poem. Last poem from Great Lady. Hey, May. Hey, May. Sup, Selmers! You okay? After the whole, like, uh, head injury thing? Yeah, I'm alright. Headache is, uh, all. I got some migraine meds if you need them. Need it. Nah, it's not a migraine. And those things make me have to pee. <laughs> it's caffeine. If you ever take pills, that makes you pee. It's caffeine. Ah, I didn't know that. Used to work at the pharmacy. Alright. Well, if I ever have a headache, or it needs to pee, I'll come by. Anytime, neighbor. Wait, <gasps> you don't have a poem? No! Come on! That sucks. Oh, what the fuck? It doesn't really answer the question, Pauline. That very much does answer the question. The amount of rock salt isn't the problem. We don't have enough damn trucks for this thing. Cars slip sliding all up and down this goddamn hill, Colleen. Half tempted to just close the road when the storm hits. God. Oh yeah, good. Let's just give up. It's not giving up, Colleen. Bitch. I'm sick of you undermining me. It's a bad idea. That's not undermining. God, you bitch. It's undermining. I'm on Colleen's side on this one. Ah, when are you not, old man? Well, that's just great. That's just peachy pie, ain't it? Okay, fine. We'll just close all the roads. <laughs> you just see me hop. <laughs> Let's close down the whole damn thing. Go to hell, Colleen. We <laughs> could just hire some private plows. If you want to go against the dot union, go right ahead. We got agreements with the country and state. Colleen's right on this one, too. Oh, God, if you two agree so much, why don't you just get married already? Yeah. I'd rather die. God, okay. I'd rather break my own femur with cinder block. Oh, shit. All right, well, now that's settled. Why are, what are we doing about the road? God. Okay, good, but, uh, break for food. Great idea. I'm starving. See, we can still make decisions. Ha 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 ha. Move out, troops. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> hey, I'll follow y'all. I'm the leader of this shit. Let's go, bitches. Let's fucking go. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, you. Hey, it's you. Yep, yep. For now, at least. You know, I never got your name. I'm the janitor. Clean up, do fix-its. Whatever needs done. Oh, okay. What's been like being home again? Think black you remember him? Eh, kinda. I don't know. I don't even remember today. 
Sound like you've been through so. How'd you know? Call it experience. I swear some mornings I feel every bit as old as these trees. You know, something big did happen. And I feel like I should have woken up today. And like, have learned something. But I don't even freaking learn anything really. Well, I'm the experience that big things don't teach you anything. But they make you something. And something you gotta wait a while to see what comes of it. Huh. Well, an honest day's work. Quitting time. Smelters, games, and that. See you around. How do I see you first, babe? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. He's cool. Wait. How do you know my name? <gasps> he was the guy! Janitor. Mr. Janitor. Lord Janitor. Janitor. I thought I could get a job as Janitor and I really enjoy it. <laughs> What the fuck? <gasps> He's the fucking guy. He is the leader of the whole thing. I swear to God, it's probably him. If it is, I get to yell out, Call it, bitches! But I don't know if I am. Snack fucking! Wait, it's snowing. <gasps> Could be a blizzard that kills the entire town. That'd be weird. Well, look who's alive and well. Is that a surprise? Nah. Just seems like... Relevant. Well, look who's live and well you too. Wait, what? Oh, look who's live and well you too. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You wanna get out of here? Do bad practice. Sure! I'm gonna fucking screw this shit up. If I don't screw it up, I would do myself. If I did screw it up, I'm not meant to be an artist. <clears throat> Error! Hope, I hope it's fucking easy. I don't think it is. I don't, I'm not good with these buttons. I'm really not. Oh. God, this door just doesn't like to open. Bet it's the worst. Bet it's worse than the summer. So, did you all get keys to the back door? Okay, I got one. We have made copies. How do you even get a key? I have no idea. Where's Greg? Oh, yeah, he had a spring Angus from my work. What does that mean? Zero clue. Oh. I'm a little unclear about how both of us, how both of them still have jobs. Since they seem to just up and leave work early a lot. There's a lot about those two I don't understand. I think they just plain need each other. Greg more than Angus, I think. I don't think Angus would agree. No, I don't think Angus would agree. I guess it wouldn't occur to Angus to think otherwise. Because Angus is an extremely nice person. Yeah, Greg's a nice person. Oh yeah, he definitely is. But he's also bratty and irresponsible. And he has like zero attention span. Greg needs a parent as much as a, he needs a boyfriend. And he's really lucky Angus is a little bit of both. Angus thinks Grave Angus thinks Greg like saved him. Listen, I'm not saying he didn't, if he thinks so. Angus might also just be attracted to a really sincere guys in leather jackets who carry knives. I mean, if I met the right guy, those would all be pluses. Jeez, you've thought this out. Before you came back, you were the only people I hung out with most of the time. I had a lot of time to study. So, like, how are you? Ah. <sighs> I'm not good, really. I feel like right now I could convince myself I was fine or completely shattered. Just like stuck in neutral. You? Uh, not great? I had a dream the world was ending. Might be. Do you think we're safe? No idea. Great feeling. Yep. 
feel like I'm a little confused about what even happened last night. It was apparently a death cult of dads. The whole cosmic horror thing? Yeah, that. Did you ever see you or feel it? No, but between you and the dads, something had to be going on. It's old. It's very old. You can, like, smell how old. It's like a pouch light that's on. A porch light that's on, my bed. There are all these bugs around it, and then the light goes out. And there's a hole where the light was. It's like what happened to me way back. Like I was telling you about on the couch last night. Holy crap, that was last night. It's like two lifetimes ago. <laughs> yeah. The world is extremely bad. Yes, yes it is. Weird question. Um, How do you like get up every day and go open the store and keep doing it. I don't really have a choice, do I? You definitely do. I mean, you definitely do. You don't give yourself enough credit. You keep all of this rooting, uh, running because you care. I guess caring does always seem to be voluntary. Caring can be really terrifying. I feel like it's always there, right out of sight, following me. I can't not give a shit. And I do the store, and our bills at more home, stuff with the Chamber of Commerce. I'm doing free study courses online, and I'm a member of the Young Society Socialists. I sleep a lot and sometimes eat pizza. To each according to their abilities. Well, on the bright side, you got me! <laughs> yeah. We can fix the world together! Yep, fix it right up. You fixed that furnace! I fixed the furnace. Well, I fixed us getting trapped in the basement. You sure did, May. You sure did. Uh, I guess last night wasn't so weird. It was pretty weird. Old man killing the youngs and the poors to get back some past that barely existed. Some old, same old, same old. They're like ghosts in some old mansion, killing the new owners. Makes you want to either give up or try harder. Or get really upset and take a nap. Yeah, <laughs> naps fix everything. Or like drop an elevator on them. That works too, I guess. So, how good is your car? Good, how? Like, can I drive real far? Hey, do you know anything about what? I should like do a road trip. To where? Out west. It gets all flat. That it does. We can go where it's really flat. They smell like barbecue. And you can see like the world's largest... Now nah, they smell like barbecue. <laughs> they smell like barbecue. I think barbecue is south. Not all of it. It's everywhere. Barbecue. <laughs> God damn it. All different kinds. Dry, wet, ultra. I could... Okay, let's talk about it next year. I'll start planning it now. I thought you couldn't leave home because of your issue. Yeah, you're home enough. I mean, if we're trapped here together, we might as well be trapped out of there together. I mean, if we're not dead by then. <laughs> you have a way of making Doom sound like a lot of fun, Mayday. That is actually kind of a gift. God damn it, this door! I think God already has. There they are. Hey, guys. Sup, nerds? Psh, it's you who are the nerds. What? Jeez, we've never been so insulted. <laughs> Take it right back, dork. 
fat chance. Hey, Greg, so I didn't really know Cassie. Yeah. I just wanted to say I'm really sorry. Yeah. Thanks. Cassie was a good one. Casey was good. Should we, like, tell his parents? Uh, probably. What do we tell them? I don't know. Can we, like, make up something that sounds real? Or what, the truth isn't filling up? I mean, true. No, you're right, that truth is insane. So, like, what do we do? About Casey? No, like, in general. Can we think about this tomorrow? Can we just play a song and get a pizza? I don't think song and pizza is an answer, really. Can we just be normal for, like, one day? I don't think how today can possibly feel normal. When I was in that coma or whatever, when I was down there last night, I like, made the decision not to die. Or at least not to die without a fight. And the thing down there told me nothing would save me forever. Wait, it was like talking to you? It's been talking to me for a long time. I just didn't know what it was. But anyway, like, nothing is going to save us forever. But a lot of things can save us today. That's a that's really pretty, babe. <laughs> Thanks, I totally made it up. Like, right on the spot last night. I said it before. You're good with doom. Doom, doom, doom! Anyway, song of pizza? We earned it by still being alive for another day. That's a decent reason. Decent! Decent. Decent. Oh, okay, that's it. That's, that's the end of the game. Well, I guess I'll give my thoughts real quick. Um, I don't know what to say about the game. Um, it was... It was a good game, I do admit. It was good. There was some hiccups. <laughs> there was some hiccups to where I really didn't understand. Like, I didn't really understand that, whoa, she's talking to something? That part sort of threw me off. I still don't understand what she's talking about. I didn't understand a lot of crap. The game's very, com not complex, but I guess you would, like, really need to pay attention shit. I didn't do it well. You know what I'm glad about? I didn't have to do it a third time. <laughs> Testers? Oh wow, they had testers for this shit. That's cool. But yeah, the game the game's nice. Story wise was great. Uh just I think everything else could have been better. And there was a lot of things that I didn't see the point for, like uh oh, one dude. Special thanks. Oh, okay. Parents put uh Greg, Deb, Ian, and the Oh, wow. That's great. Damn. But yeah, just saying. The game did have some hiccups with some things, but you know what? That doesn't take it away, because at the end, it was actually getting me a lot, like, very well. Um, I think they probably should have focused on that a bit more than uh, what they were throwing at us, because um, they did throw a lot. They threw, like, me hanging out with uh, Bay. <clears throat> And me hanging out with Greg, and I still was like, you know, everywhere. The game was good, though. It was, story-wise, was great. It was a very good game. Um, it'd be cool if they made a part two. Uh, felt anticlimactic with some parts of it. <laughs> what the fuck? That's the last of the pages, so I guess that's the ending, or that's the 
final thing we get is that we would be road tripping with uh, Bay. Yeah, I guess that's it. I think it's taking me back to the... What's it called? Yeah, it's taking me back to the home screen. So yeah, um, I like this game. It was pretty cool. I enjoyed it. Either way, um, the game was good. Awesome, all that other shit. I don't know what else to say about it. Um, had some lacking things, but you know what? I'm glad I finished it. I'm glad I beat it. I'm glad I did it all in one day. The game felt a bit too fucking long, though. <laughs> I don't know, because when uh, where I cut it off, it felt like it was uh, in the middle still. Oh shit, it was in the middle. And now it like it felt like it was it's still in the middle. But in reality, it was like right at the fucking end. I know that. So, fuck it. Uh, thank you guys for watching this. Um, if anybody did. I know the series wasn't really that big on the channel. But for some people or the few people that did watch this uh, series, thank you. Because to be honest, this was the starting of me doing Steam games. Uh, I fucked up at <laughs> the beginning of it. But you know what? You live and you learn. I was able to do this. Um, thank you guys. Uh, means the world to me. And I will see you guys in uh, whatever the hell else I make next. Bye guys!